what's going on guys awesome back today i'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your garbage aim in rainbow six siege now i know if you clicked on this video your aim is probably absolutely terrible and that is okay because within this video i'm going to be giving you five tips and ways to help you improve your aim so it's the best that it possibly can be and be on tiers as the same as stomping spoy bolo and whoever else you want to name but yeah um before we get in this video i want you guys to go down in the description my twitch is linked down there if you ever want to pop into the stream i stream over there almost every single night so yeah you can hop over there drop a follow whatever you want to do and also hit the like subscribe button it would help me out very much and i would very greatly appreciate it but yeah without further ado let's get right into the video all right so the first thing i want to talk about in this video is going to be sensitivity now a lot of the time i will say i feel like bad aim correlates directly with a bad sensitivity and a bad sensitivity is one that is not comfortable for you sensitivity is something you want to have nailed on the head and you want to have a good one that you're comfortable on right because you cannot and i stress this so many times because i talk talk about sensitivity so many times in my educational videos it's not even funny and the one thing that i always say is just to find one that is catered to you sensitivity is something that sh you it is like very, very personalized. You know, I mean, you can, it, it, this goes zero to 100, you know, for horizontal, goes that for ADS, whatever. And it's because it, it's catered to you. You know what I mean? You are so much different than other people. So you can't just go copy another sensitivity, you know what I mean? And cheat and be like, I'm just going to go copy stomp sensitivity, then I'll be as good as him. That's just not how it works, right? You need to put the time in to find a good sensitivity because in the best way I would say that, and I'll tell you guys, is just, just go into a free for all. You know, for however long it is, just keep doing it in free for alls and just try different sensitivities out. If you like fast sensitivity and you, you know, you play like that on different games and on Rainbow in the past and you like it, just try to find a high sensitivity. You know what I mean? You don't need to switch it up. If you're a slow sense player and you are good on slow sense, you don't need to go to a high sense. You know what I mean? Find one that's catered to you, go into free for all, test them out. And the thing I will say is sensitivity, how good you are on a sensitivity is going to dictate um and the comfortability that you have on sensitivity is going to dictate by how much time you spent on it you are not gonna be able to just pick up a sensitivity and be the best that's why i always tell people if you you cannot drastically just keep changing your sensitivity if you don't have a good time on it you know what i mean when you are finding a sensitivity you need to find one that you're like decently comfortable on and just play on it you know what i mean even if you're playing bad and you want to revert it to your old one that you're more comfortable on you need to just stick it out and use it because at the end of the day if you are not comfortable on a sensitivity it's basically because you haven't played on it enough to be comfortable you know what i mean the more you play on a sensitivity the better you're gonna get but first you need to find one that is catered to you because you could be a slow sense player go to high sense play like pretty bad and then get a little bit used to it but like you're not a high sense player so you're not gonna be able to maximize the abilities of a high sense you know what i mean and you're not going to be able to like reach your peak on it so find a good sensitivity that is catered to how you want to play and how comfortable you feel on it and then once you have that stick with it just stick with it play with it go through the ups and downs with it i just switched my sensitivity a lot i you know like as you can see it's 3580 i used to play on 20 vert and i upped my my 2.5 by like almost like 15 and i upped my 1.0 by like 10 and it's it's been fast but like i'm getting used to it and there's been growing pains but at the end of the day like i know if i just stick it out that this sensitivity is going to take me to another level and that's what you need to think about it right if you can get good on a good sensitivity that's comfortable for you you can have a great aim you can compete at very high levels and stuff like that so yeah find a good sensitivity stick with it and make sure you stick with it and don't change it. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is going to be recoil control. Now, if you can control your gun's recoil, what is going to happen is it is going to directly just impact your ability to aim because it's going to make your aim better if you can control your recoil, right? If your gun is, you know, not going like this, you know, when you're trying to shoot, right? It is going to be easier to aim if your, you know, recoil looks like this, right? So, I'm going to tell you guys how to get and perfectly perfect your recoil, right? And I've so I've shown this in a couple of videos so far, but I'm going to do it again, right? And this is the method that I use a lot of the time and that I have used to actually improve my recoil control. And all you need to do is you can do this in the shooting range. You can do this literally when you spawn into the game, you know, what I mean, into a round. And all you have to do is just take your gun, right, and just shoot it, but do not control the recoil at all. So it just basically goes up. So basically what this does is it's going to show you where the recoil pattern is right 
because when you control recoil and how to control recoil good is just to know the pattern if you know the pattern it should be as easy as pulling down and that's why everybody says just pull down because all you need to do is pull the opposite of the way the recoil is going so if you can see on the r4c the recoil is going up into the right like you know slightly and over time you know it goes up into the right and you know you can see it on the screen right and all you need to do then to combat that and once you see it is go the opposite of the recoil so I need to just pull down my stick or pull down my mouse down into the left. And what will happen? You will get basically perfect recoil control. Perfect recoil control. Um, I'm using a different controller right now. This is my first time on during the day. So I may be a little butt, but like that's all you need to do, bro. And you can have perfect recoil control from anywhere and on any single gun in the game, bro. It can be R4C, it can be SMG12, it could be SMG11. I'll show you with uh, Ace's gun, you know what I mean? There's the recoil control, right? I, it's pretty solid recoil control. And all I had to do was just go, okay, again, this is like just like the R4C. It's going up and to the right. So what do I need to do? Down and to the left, just a little bit more slightly, and you have perfect recoil control. And you can do that with any gun in the game at any time in the game and it'll be perfect. And that is a method, the foolproof method on how to just pull down and have perfect recoil control. And this will directly help you with your aim and to fix it. All right, next up, I wanna talk about free for all. Now, when you play this game and you really, really think about it, the best way and the best tip you hear a lot of people say, including myself, is going to be just to play the game and get better. That's how you play, that's how you get better, is just by playing the game and playing more and more, right? And if you really think about it, the best way you're going to improve your aim then in that sense, if you think about it by that logic is by getting into gunfights, the more gunfights you get into, the more, you know, you're going to get used to your sensitivity, the better, you know, your aim, your recoil control is all going to get right. So if you really break it down, right. And you want to say, okay, I want to get in a lot of gunfights so I can use, you know, a lot of guns. I can, you know, improve my gun skill. Right. And you are in a ranked game and you're like, oh, well, I'm just going to only play ranked and stuff like that. That works, right? That's fine. But if you really want to break down the numbers, if you play around a six round game and ranked, that's about 20, 30 minutes, probably like 20 minutes, right? And in those 20 minutes, you're going to get probably seven, eight gunfights, nine, maybe depends on how aggressive you are. And you could even get less than that in a six round game, right? Um, and you know, you, you do that and you really think about it. So like 20 minutes, six to eight gunfights on average, right? And if you look at free for all, you can use any single gun and it's against real players, right? You're going to be doing this. And if you look at the, the rules and the, the, you know, the uh, things in front of, on the screen here, seven and a half minutes. And you're probably, if you load into a full game and play the full thing, you're going to get into 30 gunfights, probably 30 to 40 gunfights in seven and a half minutes compared to your ranked game that you're spending 20 minutes on and you're getting six or seven. Plus you're getting these gunfights with whatever gun you want and you can switch it at any single time plus you're getting these on real maps too you know what i mean there's two maps in here that are not actually in the game but you know all the other ones are and you can leave you can leave free for alls whatever you want at no penalty so if you want to truly truly get better aim and focus on that play free for alls please for the love of god you can even incorporate these in some of your warm-ups if you warm up but yeah free for all is going to be your biggest friend if you want to get better um with uh your gun skill and that is as simple as this it's better than ranked games it's better than warming up against ai playing any ai game modes because you're getting into real gunfights real interactions with people so please please if you're trying to get better gun skill and fix your aim hop into some free-for-alls all right so next thing i want to talk about is going to be warming up now i know i've talked about warming up like an endless amount of times on this channel when in these educational videos but i want to just show you guys how, and talk about again how important and how much better this can help you with your gun skill right because when you really think about it it takes you five to ten minutes yes as little as i say every single time it is little as five minutes of your time before you hop on and hop into your ranked games play with your friends whatever to warm up and what it really does is in the immediate what it does is it makes you warm up right it makes you warm warm up so you can get into your games and not just feel like going going into it like cold cold turkey you know what i mean you basically just get your you know you get your arm right get your aim get your recoil get your gun skill 
all a little bit warm so in the game you know you don't feel like you're completely frozen and just like off your and uncomfortable and off your game right and also the second thing is a long term you are using your aim and focusing on different ways of getting it better so that's going to make it just get better over time right because it, it in comparing to you like how much you play the game and like the time you put in that's just going to help you get better in your aim and stuff like that and you just get better in the future right so it does two things short term and long term and i will say to the endless time you know it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter how you warm up ubisoft i will say it does a great job with giving like resources for how you can warm up I, i'd say the best be, the best things you can do is go into the shooting range one because you can you know practice like strafing back and forth in front of a target you can go to the third lane which is my favorite where you can customize your own aim routine yes your own customized that you can hop on and do every single time second i would say map training and then target drill target drill is basically like you just run around the map and like like ranked maps that you're going to be playing in there's going to be ai bots standing there and you can use any gun and you just go around and kill them and you know you can tell them to shoot back you, you know whatever you can put on headshot only if you want to like you know make it harder on yourself and and stuff like that so i would say that's a good one if you don't really want to get into real people but the best way and i already just talked about this is free for all you can pair a free for all I've, I've, i just told you to play some free for alls if you want to just pair some free for alls in your in your um your, your warm-up it's gonna you know it's gonna be the best thing because you're getting into real gunfights with real players that are making real movements unlike the other two that i just showed you where they're more ai obviously you can make a move in the shooting range but it's not the same as like a real person interaction in a gunfight right so yeah make sure you hop in the warm-ups again five minutes is all you need five to ten minutes and i get you know if you're not very serious about this game but if you really do want to get better and get better aim and get better gun skill Warming up, free for all is going to be your way to go. All right, so last but not least, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is going to be playing consistently. And I know not everybody has time to play every single day for multiple hours a day, and that's okay. You know what I mean? But playing as consistently as you can is going to just help you fix your aim and it's going to help you get better aim and it's just going to help you be better at Rainbow Six Siege because if you really think about it and I dumb it down to like when you do something right consistently. It's going to be easy to do and you're going to get better at it over time. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be doing it a lot more. So it's going to lead to you being getting better at it. And it's also in the, you know, in the time that you're actually doing it, you're going to feel more comfortable because you're constantly doing it. You're consistently doing it. So you're going to feel comfortable doing it versus let's say you do it one day and then like next week you hop on it again and you try to do the same thing and the same task that you just did last week. You're not going to feel as comfortable. You're not going to be getting constantly better because you're not going to be doing it over time. You're going to be doing it like once every couple of days versus every single day. You know what I mean? And that's going to make a difference. You know what I mean? That is going to make a difference. So your aim is going to feel a lot better. Your sensitivity is going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel a lot more comfortable on the game if you are playing it very consistently or cons not even very consistently, just consistently. You know what I mean? You need to have cons some consistency in things to get better at them and to be better and to get good. You know what I mean? So play as consistently as you can. Again, I know not everybody has all the time in the world. Everybody has stuff going on. Everybody has things they need to do. But as if you can play as consistently as you can, a lot of the time that's just going to help your aim be better and that's going to just help you get better even just at the game in general. All right, so that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this one and were able to take some things that I said and some tips and actually apply them into your game so you can uh, stop with that atrocious same and actually uh, get good. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, again, make sure you guys go down to the description, uh, click on my Twitch link, give me a follow um, if you you know so wish to choose. And again, I'm live on almost every single night over there um, when I'm free. So uh, yeah, and then again, hit the like subscribe button if you did enjoy this video. It would greatly help me out and i would greatly appreciate it and love you forever but uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out